The pigs scheduled for today's slaughter are 20 weeks old. They were bred and raised on this pig farm in the North Midlands where 450 sows produce 10,000 piglets a year. Their life began 11 months ago when the sows were ready to be mated. A boar was in the next door pen and the smell of his testicles was bringing them into heat. However, this was as close as they ever got because the sows were then artificially inseminated. The farm must breed 200 piglets week in, week out, and doing that has been worked out down to the last detail. Adam Cork is the deputy manager. You, you screw this basically up into the back of the sow, and uh, you put the semen in, you put the tube on the back, and let the semen go in. So if we can collect it and, and inseminate the sows ourselves, we can have a lot of control over it and do a lot more in one day. That was, uh, that was collected yesterday, and that's got a diluent in it, it's all been mixed. That's so from one ball, one collection. Every Thursday is birthing or farrowing day on the farm. 20 sows produce around 10 piglets each. It's all timed precisely from insemination 115 days ago. This is called a farrowing crate. She, she, she'll come in here, and this is where she farrows, and she, she drinks and eats in here, and she lies down, and these bars at the side protect her from squashing on the piglets. Within hours of each other, the sows start to give birth. The, the piglets obviously have, have come out now, they're going to break their own umbilical cord. And they'll go towards the light. Every farrowing crate has a light box which helps the piglets to dry out and warm up. And they'll dry off and they'll come and suck on the mother. And the most important thing for them now is to have their colostrum off the mother, which gives them a kickstart and they'll start off. Colostrum is the first milk and bolsters the piglet's immune system. Commercial pressure means that non-organic pigs are weaned at four weeks. At 20 weeks, the pigs reach their killing weight of 70 to 80 kilos. Adam opts for our local small abattoir because of its tradition of best practice. They take a bit more pride in what they're doing, whereas the big supermarkets, they, it's all in and it has to be done and processed in a big factory and out, whereas the smaller abattoir and butchers take more time about how they do it. 